Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. What's going on? It's Marquis Walker from Boston. I'm back with another hip hop review. This time it's Pat Miller from North Carolina. North Kakalaki. Um, we got a new mixtape. I viewed a couple singles prior to this, but it's a new mixtape called Boom Baptism. Boom Baptism. And it's fire, man. Y'all gotta check it out. I wouldn't be reviewing it if it wasn't fire. Stop playing. But I wanted to start off by reading uh, something from actually his manager. Uh, his manager's name is Zebo Jones. Uh, you can check him out on um, Instagram. Go find him. I gotta actually go check out the blog, man. I got a blog with more information on this, on the artist and stuff like that. And I interviewed the artist. And um, I interviewed the artist. I, I asked the manager a couple, couple questions. And this is... Um, I just really thought this was uh, a good, uh, I think, a summary of the album. When he when I asked a question, when I asked him the question on Instagram, I was I basically Instagrammed them. I met them on Instagram. I think they hit. I think they reached out to me, or I, I, or I saw that a single or something. I saw them on one or the other, and um, we started texting from then, you know, on um, Instagram, and just listen. Like they would send me a single, check this out, and I go, I right, listen to it, and then. Um, so this is how I found it, but let's get back to this, this quote. So this basically summarizes the album, and then I'll get into the review. So um, it's funny because um, Zebo Jones, you know, it's, just to be funny, he looks like Debo in the um, in his um, Instagram photo. He's just like, you know, he's just like this, you know what I'm saying? He's a big dude. He looks like a big dude. I don't know. Um, but shout out Zebo man, for looking like Debo, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yo, he says, he goes like this. So I, I, so I asked him, um... I go, uh, I go, uh, I say, uh, what does this album mean? Like, you know, what is it like? What does it? What does the album mean to you, Pat? Like, what, what, what what's this album about? What's this? Well, it's mixtape, but you know, um, he goes. Yeah, I thought this was cool. He goes, uh, Pat feels like the music of the culture has strayed away from its roots, its traditions, its religion. So this is so this project is to represent getting baptized. In the cool waters of hip hop, yo, I love that, yo. Um, but yeah, that's kind of summarizes the album, man. It's, it's a blessing, man. It's a blessing that Pat Miller's on the stage, man, and he's blessing with his album. So, um, like I keep saying, album because I, you know, but it's a mixtape. It feels like an album. I ain't gotta listen to it. You can be like, oh, this is an album, but um, it's a mixtape. And he explained in the interview why he did a mixtape before he did a project. So go read the blog. I'm gonna link it here. I'm gonna link it down below. You know what I'm saying? But, um, so this mixtape got nine cuts, nine cuts, nine good tracks, man. Um, really good producers. Uh, I'm not familiar with the producers, but I'm going to shout them out because I want to give everybody their flowers and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So let's go down the track list first and then we're going to break down the album. So like I said, it's eight tracks. Um, it starts off with the, um, with Boom Baptism, uh, produced by Dilly. Dilly Dilly. That's the name. I like, I like the name Dilly. Uh, that's one of my favorite tracks is in rotation. Uh, DYI, you know. Um, I'm guessing Do It Yourself. Um, produced by Dilly. Dilly again. What up, Dilly? Um, and then uh, number three, what's really good featuring, uh, I'm going to say Merge. It's M-E-R-J. Produced by P-Soul. Uh, then you got Lottie Dottie. Produced by Batman. What's up, Batman? Yo, we're robbing that, dog. You know what I'm saying? And then you got Cool Summer featuring Joey Cac. C A A K C C A A C. Sorry. Joey C A A C. I think it's Cac. I'm guessing. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, brother. Um, produced by uh Triton. Or oh, Triton or Triton? T-R-I-T-O-N. Triton, I think. Uh then you got Ugly Truth produced by P Soul. And then you got Nostalgia, uh, produced by Yondo Music, Yondo Music. Uh, then you got Timeless. It's another one of my favorite cuts in rotation. Produced by Manny Manhattan. Manny Manhattan. I think I heard that name before. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Shout out to Manny. Um, I know. Produced by Lucas Quinn. Lucas Quinn. So I'm gonna give y'all y'all flowers now before I get into this interview. Cause like people forget about the producers. Don't forget about the DJ. That's where it started, baby. The DJ was MC would just hype up the crowd like yo, yo. Yo, yo, that's all he did, though. That's all the MC did. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better get... Go review your hip-hop, man. I know Pat Miller knows his hip-hop because he, he he got a song in here. 
dedicated to old school hip hop. You know what I'm saying? And you can tell in the bars he knows it's hip hop. So let's go down the line. All right, check it out. All right. So let me tell you how I like how I felt about um each track briefly, but y'all gotta check the blog out. Let me keep saying it. There's more detail and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'ma go, I might gotta go too deep. I'm gonna go a little deep. And plus, like I said, I got the interview in there, so you wanna check that out. That interview. Oh yeah, it's a nice interview. I'm just looking at it. Ah. But yo, so the first track, um, Boom Baptism, right? Uh it was a great intro to the mixtape. I thought it um I thought it was, you know, it's a title track, and I thought it was a good intro for the artist. Like, he really went in, and um, you could tell he he just knows what he's doing. You could tell, he like, he's not a rapper. He's an MC. And that's the, this is the thing. There's a difference, man. I could rap. I could learn how to rap. I could probably put put a rap together, you know? Y'all you, know I can't rap. I'm about to rap right now. Y'all better stop. Y'all better pay me, dog. Buy my clothes or something. Because if I start rapping, y'all got to turn this off. So anyway, past that, you know what I'm saying? So he's an MC. He got things he's saying. He got topics he's talking about, different flows, rhyme patterns. You can tell he's he knows about hip hop. He's not just like, you know, he knows. You can tell. You can feel it. You can feel it in his soul. You know what I'm saying? So this is a great intro. Now, DYI, do it yourself. Now, this one was one of my favorite tracks. It's in my rotation. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is where he represented hip hop, man. He um it, it had like a sample of a um a woman singing. That was dope, man. It was like really um soulful, you know what I'm saying? Uh but great messages on that track too, you know what I'm saying? So he's getting it in, man. I'm telling you, he's he got bars, man. This dude got bars. All right, so number three uh is okay, so no, it's what's really good. And merge. I hope I'm saying your, your name right, King. Um, this track was a, a combination of two MCs. They was, you know what I'm saying? They just went bar for bar. I do more description, like I said, in the blog, but yo, um, yeah, it's good, man. They was they, they, they put it in. I, I really like uh, Merge. I hope I'm saying, like I said, saying your name, name right. Um, you stood out on that track, so um, keep doing what you're doing, and I'm tuned into the streets for Merge, all right? Uh, Lottie Dottie. We like the party. I don't I don't we don't bother nobody. But this man that's on the mic. Wait, 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 I got that mic. Uh, the mic. <laughs> Let me stop. Alright. So Slick Rick, Dougie Fresh, that's the old jam. Um Pat Miller put a um not like a like a I guess uh, I wanna say I, I, I would say that he put together like a um a rendition. That's what I'm trying. I'm trying to think of words in my head. He put a, his own rendition in now it's not like the beat and instead take the whole beat and take the, all the whole chorus. He does mention Lottie Dottie, but this whole song is basically about um, respecting hip hop, knowing about hip hop, loving hip hop. So this song right here tells you he knows what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? He's an MC. The way he's and, he, and I think on the song, most um, he's like quoting um, lyrics or he's quoting um, like cla like classic um, MCs uh, album covers and stuff like that. So it's dope. You gotta listen to it, man. I'm telling you, it's dope. So that's that one. La da da da, we ain't like that party. Eh? And then um, with number five, number five was yeah, number five is Cool Summer, featuring is Joey Cack. Uh, this record, I ain't gonna lie, is it's a skippable for me. Um, only because I didn't like the singing. Sorry, Joey, no disrespect, man. I didn't like the singing. Maybe you could have came hard on that singing, or um, I don't know, just switched up some pitches or something. I don't know nothing about singing, but I just didn't think that was that. And I just, my opinion, don't beat me up. You know what I'm saying? Just talk about it in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Let's fight about it in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Yo, whoever listened to this too, go listen to that song and tell me if I'm right. Because, um, of course, their camp don't think it's, their camp think it's, you know, uh, a dope song. Because they released a, a, a video to it. So, I mean, go check the video. The video is linked in the blog. Um... But in the video, just the two 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 guys, the singer and uh, Pat Miller. It was it was nighttime, and it was like kind of like at a store, convenience store. So, and the hooks like it's a cool summer, summer. Like like they talking about cool summer. So I'm like, I'm looking for the sun. I'm looking for ladies in bikinis. I'm looking for like a beach. I'm looking for like water, or something. You know what I mean? But um. Shout, shout out the song though, man. I like the song. I like this. The second verse is dope. Yo, go check out the second verse. The second verse is dope. All right, so yo, 
Let's go to the next one. Uglet Truth. All right, this record is about relationships. You know what I'm saying? Getting in, do a couple of joints talking about relationships. So you can tell he's, this is, this is what I'm saying. He got wordplay. He got range. MCs have range. They can talk about different subjects. They're not just going to talk about guns, drugs. Then the next song, guns, drugs. Then let me see. Song number three, drugs, guns. And maybe some ass messing with a female or something like that. But I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, you could tell Pat Miller got, he's versatile. You know what I'm saying? So you check out all these tracks. You could tell that he put out this mixtape so you can, you know what I'm saying? You can be ready for the album. So I respect, I respect it. I respect this game. You know what I'm saying? All right, so Ugly Truth. Uh, and then Nostalgia. Nostalgia was the first, I think it was the first record. Is that the first record I heard? The first, I think that was their first single I heard. Let me see if I put that down. I think it was. I, yeah, I think I, I think that was the first single I heard. Um, yeah, yeah, it was. It was. It was the first song I heard from them. And I was like, oh, yo, who's this dude? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Pat Miller, Pat Miller. And then I was like, yo, he got bars. You know what I'm saying? I even called him on the, in, a, in the blog, you know what I was going to say, but let me stop. But um, so let me, I'm, yo, I'm gonna try to rap, yo. I'm a, yo, y'all gonna pay me, yo. I'm gonna put my PayPal down there and all that down cash app because y'all gonna pay me not to rap. You know what I'm saying? So this is one of the verses I like. It's just you know, it starts it off. He starts it off deep. You know what I'm saying? Going in, he goes um. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's try. <laughs> that could kill me. All right, don't, don't beat me up, Pat. Y'all gonna mess up your lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Um, bet you wondering where they found me. Peep the, peep the nostalgia. This, this sounds classic like Illmatic back in 93. You know me, P-A-T, the Mac man. They'd rather chase these thoughts like Pac-Man. I can't, you thought I can't rap. Yo, yo Cash App's down there, dog. Let me stop playing, though. But yeah, man, so that song's dope. That's the first single I heard from him. And I was like, yo, this is dope. This dude's dope, right? And then, uh, let's, oh, my, oh, don't stop messing up, computer, dog. Don't stop right now. And then the next song was, um, it's Timeless. Is that the last song? Yeah, no, 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 that's not the last song. Um, that's Timeless. Timeless is dope, too. Timeless is actually uh, his manager, Zebo's favorite. It's one of my favorites, and I believe it's Pat Miller's favorite, too. Um, I think he says that in the interview. If I can, boy, if you don't, this computer don't stop doing that. I'm trying to, like, it's so hot that everything's like, man, it's hot in Boston. Bean Town, baby. Boston. Y'all gotta come to Boston, man, y'all. Y'all ain't from Boston. Y'all gotta come to Boston, man. Check it out. Well, after all this stuff is over, of course. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can come to Beantown. Check me out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't wait to all this is over so I can see all these hip-hop artists in concert. I want to see them. Oh, Pat Miller, you coming to Boston? I know you will put that on your list, baby. Um, and then uh, the last tracks I know uh, on this track, he's um, he's checking like, um, he's just checking hip-hop. He's checking hip hop. He's checking checking Black America. He's, making, he's just telling people to wake up, man. It's one of the you know like a revolutionary track. This one I like, man. This one I like too. You know what I'm saying? It's my rotation. Um, yo, man, Pat Miller, yo, you did it again. I won't say it again because like this is your first project that I hit. I know about. I think this is your first project. You did the two singles, and then you came out with the mixtape. And I know I'm anticipating the album. I know you, yo, you know we we chat we chat on Instagram so. He's t he's, they're working on an album. They're working on an album. I'm excited. I can't wait. If it's anything like this, it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. We're going to be talking about it. So y'all check for Pat Miller. Stop playing around. You know what I mean? But check this out. Yo, I gave this I gave this review. I gave it Beats 4 out of 5. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. I gave it Level Content 4 out of 5, Pat Miller. Yo, bars, baby. You got bars, baby. I love it. Um, Album Structure Theme. I gave it a 4.5. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he stuck to the to the to the gist of the you know the album and what it was titled and what it was what about. Um, and if you look at the you know interview and stuff like that, you could tell uh, it 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 fit everything he said. Everything his uh, manager said it fit the description. And then um, when I listened to it, I felt what they felt. And um, it's a good album, man. I mean, good mixtape. But I know I'm going man. I can go album, man. But it's a good mixtape. So uh, I'm giving this all around. What's the whole around? I think 4.2. Did I give it a 4.2, Mike? Yep. You get the 4.2 microphones, Pat Miller. Yo, shout out. Yo, that's that's out of five, man. You know what I'm saying? That's almost a classic album. Or a classic mixtape. So if you put out mixtapes like this, we got our taste. You know what I'm saying? So we ready, man. 
We ready. Oh, yo, I want to shout out um the album cover. This, yo, this is why you probably like, why you got head, um things in the back? I couldn't find my headphones. I'm sure I'm looking for my um. I got the 50 cent joints. Who got the 50 cent joints, dog? They're like this big, but I'm like. Dr. Dre had his, his um joints and they, you know, everybody was like, Dr. Dre beat, Dre beats, right? And then we made all that money. The 50 Cent came out with some beats, some ones like, they were bigger than this. There was like the, the dog. It was like 50 Cent's headphones, dog. I gotta find them. I can't, they, they bury somewhere. The thing was like this, the, the, you know what I'm saying? Like it was that. <laughs> Yo. But um, now I want to shout out the album cover. You gotta go check out the album cover. The album cover, you do this, yo. It just it looks so dope. So I was like, oh, uh, I was like, let me, I gotta do it. You went like this. Let me give you three seconds. Matter of fact, let's get, let's put um let's, let's put a couple seconds on the um clock, like ten seconds on the clock for um all the past. And I'm gonna read out some people um some of the hip hop legends and some of the hip hop uh, kings and queens and princesses, prince princes that was going to be um dope that passed away too soon. I'm gonna shout a couple people out the end, but yo, let's do ten seconds and I'm gonna do the album cover. I'm gonna shout out the album cover at the same time. Ten seconds of um R.I.P. Man, you know what I'm saying for. Respect for anybody that's passed away, even if you passed away from COVID, you know what I'm saying? So, boom, let's do that. All right, that's what's up, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Yo, thanks for doing that if you're still watching. Straight up. But, yo, I want to um shout out a couple MCs, man. Like, RIP, man. Like, I, you know, first Malik B from The Roots. Um, Fred the Godson, R.I.P. Pop Smoke, R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle, R.I.P. Um, MCA from the Beastie Boys, R.I.P. Uh, Juice World, R.I.P. Mac Miller, R.I.P. X, 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 Extension. I could never say that name, but I, I think I said it right that time. R.I.P. Easy E, R.I.P. And, um, Easy E's daughters, man, stop. I don't really talk about drama on my stuff. But y'all need to stop fighting and stuff, man. Yo, go love each other, hug each other, get to know each other, man. Y'all sisters, man. Do it for hip hop. Do it for Easy. Do it for your father, man. Lisa Lopes, R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? T.O.C. Legendary T.O.C. Nate Dog, R.I.P. And shout out to everyone else. You know, I'm not gonna be on here. Just, it's not gonna be a whole list, but I just wanna like, I just some couple more I was thinking about, and um, you know, and shout out to the families and condolences to the families and friends and everybody that knew those odds or more. And shout out and comment um below your artist that you're RIP and that you you know you wish was still here. I don't know everybody that passed away. I'm just you know I figure I just get the ball rolling with a couple uh, names out there. But yo, shout out Pat Miller for this album. All right, one love, man. All right, I see you when that album come out. You know what I'm saying? All right, yo, Bean Town.